I am. Hi guys. Welcome to the second part of the tutorial. So, um, double click on your KT I, uh, icon, and I'm using the Kirkithia Beta 9 version. Open and open the uh, the file you exported from Blender. In this case, tutorial.xml. And when you open it, you'll notice it perfectly matches the the scene you created in Blender. So we have the emitter, the three spheres, the floor, and the camera we created. If you select any of the meshes in KT, you will notice on the left panel uh, it gets selected by showing us a star on it. Now, uh, Blender exports the, the, the Blender mesh name, in this case sphere, uh, 001, 002, da, 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 and the material name, red, and, and another tag which is none that I, I don't know what it corresponds to. Uh, for our rendering, we're going to be <coughs> modifying two of the materials, basically the floor and the emitter. So let's start. Click on the floor, and when I in, K in KT, when I say click, is normal click, and uh, right click uh, on the material on the left panel, and click on Edit Material. And we have the material editor. For the floor, we're just going to change from the Basics tab reflection we're going to make it a reflective material so drag it up until point 20 or point 21 and in the preview area you can see the sphere is reflecting the checkered floor hit click on apply changes close the editor and let's change the emitter into uh, we, we're going to make it uh, emit light in KT besides the the blender uh, lights or or the KT lights you can place any mesh can be turned into a, an emitter. So, uh, on the left panel, click, right-click on it, click on Edit Material, and change from the Basics to Advanced tab, and change the self-luminance uh, color value to anything above zero. Anything above zero will start emitting light. So, in this case, I'm going to use a value of 10. Hit Enter. Click on Apply Changes. Close the editor, and go back into the camera view by clicking on this icon. And for a very, very quick test, I usually start by going into the uh, preset options and I do uh, GI Quick option number five. So I'm going to do the GI Quick and when I'm done, I'll return to do the conclusions and show you the image we got. So see you in part number three of the tutorial.